big idea. Hey, back up there. All right, what's holding your gun down? Cool off. The sheriff here don't like gunplay. Well, let's get out of town then and settle this. All right, if you want it that way. Let me handle this, young Clark. I'll take care of this young buck lullaby. He'll take your horse. Take that sorrel horse there. your life, we'll just fire a couple of shots in the air and ride back. What for? Oh, just to make folks think we had a little rumpus and missed each other. What's the matter? Scared? Who, me? I'm just trying to keep you from getting hurt. You sound sort of yellow. Forget what I said. We'll shoot it out. So this young fella asked after you, Stoney. I told him to look in the red dog. Thanks, Bill. Hey, Lullaby, where's the kid that owns that bedroll? Was he a hot-headed young rascal? First he picks on me and then jumps on Tucson. Well, where is he? Him and Tucson just rode toward Buffalo for elk to shoot it out. Holy smoke! That's my brother George. I've got to stop him. Want to borrow your horse, Hank? I'll be right back. Yeah, I hope you so. Right to that, Joshua. I'll ride to that rock. Then we'll turn and start shooting. All right. know he could shoot the buttons off your shirt? That's Tucson Smith. Tucson Smith? <laughs> no wonder I couldn't be him to the draw. Tucson, I want you to meet my brother, Joy. <laughs> I might have known. Is the battle over? Yeah. No one hurt much, thanks to Tucson here. George, I want you to know Lullaby John. Hi. How are you? Now, you young fire eater, you better have a mighty good reason for coming here after raising all that rumpus. I have a mighty good reason, Sonny. Did you do it? No, Stoney. Well, why'd they pin the blame on you? Well, there's a sheep and cattle war going on back home, Tony. And I wouldn't take it lying down, so this big shot Ashton got sore at me. Well, didn't the other cowmen do anything about it? Well, they're too scared of Ashton. I told him to keep his sheep off my land or I'd take action. Well, the next day, Ashton was found dead and two of his men swore that I'd shot him. Well, Ashton's manager, Harvey, controls Green Valley. So figuring I couldn't get a fair trial, I lit out. Well, kid, I guess we'll have to pay Green Valley a return visit. You fellas can do without me for a while at the 3M. I'm heading for the northern part of the state. Send that horse back to Hank. You know, I'm not associating with horse thieves. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, 
That's your ranch, ain't it, Stoney? Yeah, mine and the kids. And the auction it off like that? Well, they can if we let them get away with it. September the 25th, huh? That's today. Yeah. We've got to work fast to stop it. George. Yeah? Remember that cave we used to play in on Signal Hill? Pirates, remember? You mean you want me to hide out up there? Yeah. Oh, Stoney. Look, there's a price on your head. You better lay low for a while. Oh, all right. Well, let's get started. Hold it, Stoney. We better drift into Green Valley one at a time. And remember, peaceful life. We'll get it for very little. No one will bid against us. Well, I don't see what good the ranch will do us, Mr. Harvey. Oh, it's a very fine piece of land and it has the best water in the valley. Well, what I mean is, I think the man should be punished for killing my father, but I don't want his land. Well, we may force them into the open by doing this, and also remember that every time we acquire a cattle ranch, we beat down the commons' opposition to our sheep raising. I suppose you know best. Well, it was your father's last wish that I carry out his plans. He trusted me. And you see... And so do I, Mr. Harvey. Thank you. And, Miss Ashton, Sylvia, there was another wish that was very dear to your father's heart. But when you come back from the East, that possibly you and I... Please, not now. I have to see about my trunk and bag. Oh, I've told Brown to pick them up and take you back to the ranch in the buckboard. Oh, thank you. Say, the auction starts in a couple of minutes, boss. I'm awful leery. Now, suppose somebody finds out that we've pulled a fast one. Now, don't let that chicken liver get the best of you, Gray. I run politics in this county. Well, I know, but I'm worried just the same. Let me do the worrying. You make the first bid, Craig, and I'll make the second. Right. South Boundary, the whole comprising the Lazy K Ranch, now offered at auction for the public welfare to satisfy a full judgment. Held by the Ashton Estate against George Brook, whereabouts unknown. Who'll start the bidding? Five hundred dollars. Five hundred dollars I'm bid? I bid five hundred dollars. Anybody else? Hey, mister. I'll give you six hundred dollars for the whole ranch. One thousand dollars. $1,000 I bid. Any more? Going? Going? $1,500. One thousand is the bid. One thousand is the bid. Do I hear any more bids? I bid fifty. You won't find that ranch healthy, stranger. Any more bids? I bid $1,000. The Lazy K is going. Last call for bid. Going? Going? I'll bid 2000 2500 2500 going? Going? 3000 4000 4000 is bid? 5000 5000 500 6000 7000 Did I hear you say 7000, McTavish? Don't I get excited, man. I want to give $700 for the whole valley. <laughs> I'll bid the $7,000. Going to Mr. Harvey for $7,000. Going once? Going twice? $10,000. $11,000. $12,000. $13,000. $14,000. $15,000. Stupid, idiotic. I, I didn't. Oh, go away. You're ruining my clothes. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm. I'm uh... Say, would you mind leaving my nightgown? 
$17,000. I'm bid $17,000. Going for the first time at $17,000? Going twice? Going... $18,000. Say, have you got $18,000? Uh, well, not on me. How much can you put up? One, two, two and a half, three. Why, just what I thought. Throw that cheap beggar out of town. Hey, take it easy, take hey. it easy. Go on here. Get off of my foot! Said the Vanessa sheriff, you've ought to stop it. Yeah, who's fighting? These strangers and some of the Ashton outfit. Why? No hurry, Sheriff. I think my men can handle the situation. Hey, boys, you know who they are? They're the three Mesquiteers. I seen them last year in Mesquite. Big fella with a special sheriff. Boy, they sure cleaned up that enemy. Sheriff, these are the men that broke up the auction. Say, listen, what's the idea? That's what I want to know. What's the idea of trying to auction off my property? Your property? I'm Stony Brook, George Brook's brother. Look up the deed and you'll find that I'm the owner of the Lazy K. Why, we thought that your brother owned it. Mr. Harvey here has a court order. Oh, you're John Harvey. Yes, manager of the Ashton estate, and your brother murdered Ashton. My brother never murdered anyone. No? Then why didn't he stay here and stand trial? Because he didn't think he'd get a fair trial here. He was probably right. Come on, fella. Those three musketeers showing up here spell trouble for us, Dan, unless they got young Brooke with them and got him hiding out somewhere. Yeah. If we could only locate the kid and shut him up. That's what we're going to try to do. I'm convinced that he's somewhere in this vicinity. Do yeah. I see sheep on the lazy K? Grab their guns. 
Geez, Tony. It's sure good to see you back at the Lazy K. Pete, I want you to meet Tucson Smith. Hiya. Hi. Followed by Jocelyn. Hi. I've heard a lot about you fellas. You know about your brother. Everything's all right, Pete. George is safe. Now you hombres, get those sheep off this ranch and get off with them. Come on, come on. I reckon you'll hear from Harvey on this deal. On your way. Well, that settles the sheep question in the lazy K. Not for long, Stoney. If something isn't done, every cow man in this valley will be ruined. Why? Oh, this man Harvey. He and his gorillas are strong-arming the ranchers, grabbing their land and water. How does he get away with it? By electing Dan Gray sheriff every time. And Sheriff Gray stands back of anything Harvey does. Well, doesn't anyone ever run against us, Gray? Nobody yet has been that reckless. Uh-huh. Say, Tucson, why don't you run for sheriff? Every cattle man in this country back you up. Hey, how about it? <laughs> oh, now, wait a minute. I'm just a tourist here. Yes, but if you were sheriff, the cattle man would be sure of a square deal. The kid could surrender and be plumb certain of a fair trial. Well, if you put it that way, I guess there's nothing else I can do. Me <laughs> as your campaign manager, you're in. <laughs> All right, There's a piece of mutton we forgot. <laughs> Be careful there. That ram's kind of forky. I'll get out, my sheepish friend. Me anytime, Tony. That's the stuff. Well, what do you say, man? You bet. We'll back Tucson Smith. If your pal has enough nerve to run, us ranchers will sure vote for him. Well, why don't you sort of drift around and spread the idea? Reckon I will. Good. So long. So long. Saving girls' lives? Oh, no, no. I thought I owed you something for upsetting your trunk and spilling all your dresses out. You sure did. I was furious with you. Yes, I know. I was bloody scared. <laughs> <laughs> Would you mind taking me back to town with you on your horse? I wouldn't mind a bit. That's fine. Doesn't your horse mind my extra weight? He loves every pound of it. <coughs> uh, I got a little dust in my throat. Don't you think we ought to look for my horse? Oh, oh no. You know, someday uh, it, it takes days to find a stray horse. Oh. Elected Gray, you don't have to pass those signs all over the greenery. Well, I thought this would make things look a little more regular. 
Yeah, well, I can tell you a better way to spend your time. Find George Brook. He's somewhere in the valley. Bring him in, dead or alive. All right, I'll have some of the boys start combing the country pronto. What? What you say? What? Come on. That new free grazing ground after graze election. Why, the sheep man, of course. But Tucson Smith is a cow man, and he'll give the cow man a square deal. Chief, do you want me to go and stop him? Well, yes, but how? You're the you sheriff, all know aren't you? That the sheep men are a run in this town, and Gray is their man. So everybody ought to vote for Tucson Smith. Say, hey, listen here. Now, wait a minute. You can't make a speech without a permit. Okay. No, sir. Is that the law? Yes, sir. Civic Code, Section A-95. All right. Don't go away, folks. You're really going to see and hear something now. Need any help out there? No. Only Elmer. <laughs> Gentlemen and sheep men. Everyone ought to vote for Tucson Smith. Say, listen here. Didn't I tell you that you couldn't make a speech without a permit? Say, does Section A-95 say anything about dummies making speeches? Why, no, but... Well, then, don't be a dummy, you dummy. <laughs> you impudent young squirt. Say, you can't talk to me like that and get away with it, you fathead. Them's fighting words. <laughs> Now, listen here. I'm going to wring your neck. Yeah? Yes. Yeah? Yes. Yeah, you and who else? Honest Dan Gray, a living example of crime and corruption. You still beat your wife? Yeah. No, uh, Answer me, uh, yes or no. Well, I... Did you ever return those pencils you stole from that old blind man? Well, certainly I'm I get... afraid to open my mouth for fear you'd steal my false teeth. Scat. Oh, well... <laughs> If you want a man, not a mouse, a sheriff, not a stooge, vote for Tucson Smith. You know the boss don't like speeches? Break it up. Folks, here comes Tucson himself. Speech, speech. Tell us about you. Folks, talking don't show what kind of a sheriff a man will be. <laughs> Being a sheriff is a man-sized job, feller. Takes more than trick clothes and fancy shooting irons. You're plumb right. <laughs> I hadn't taken long to get here, had it? No, but uh, how are you going to get back? Oh, I'll borrow a horse. Don't you know it's bad luck to borrow? You better ride back with me. That's an idea. <laughs> hey, look here. I don't even know your name. Or even I don't know yours. <laughs> when I come back, we'll exchange history. All right. Fine friends you're picking up with. Well, I haven't asked your opinion, Mr. Harvey. I'm sorry, Sylvia. But I don't think you know who that man is. Someone you don't like? It isn't that. He happens to be Stony Brook, the brother of the man that killed your father. Oh, no. I didn't know. There's some mail for you, Sylvia. Thank you, John. Oh, say, may I borrow your horse when I leave here? Certainly. And I'll drop over this evening and pick him up. Yes, sir, I believe we're making headway. You men don't expect anyone to take your campaign seriously, do you? I reckon folks who want their land and water rights back will take it seriously. 
You haven't got a chance. By the way, Stoney, let me give you a little tip. That kid brother of yours is known to be in this country, and it's only a question of time will somebody spots him. If I fire you, I'd turn him over to the sheriff while he's still alive. Well, maybe I will. When we put in an honor, Sheriff, one will find the real murderer of Ashton. Tucson, as usual. My brother yes, I think do. so. And I don't care to hear anything you have to say. What is that look on his face, lullaby? I don't know. Love and the stomach ache both give a man that same old that look. <laughs> Anything? Yeah. Get their guns. Now you're going to sign a little paper saying you're forgetting about running for sheriff. Then you and your two pals are running for parts unknown. And if you don't sign, well, you'll have to ventilate the three of you. I reckon you win. I surrender. I surrender. 
I surrender. I surrender. Sent in word that he thinks he saw a young brook up around those caves on Signal Hill. Now here's my idea. and don't start any funny business. It worked like a charm. thing we do to all murderers. I'll get the men. Wait a minute. He's entitled to a fair trial. Lock him up, Sheriff. Then scare up the jury. We'll try him over the Bonanza. All right. Come on. You can't hold a trial today, John. There aren't enough sober people in town to make up a jury. I don't understand your concern about the man that killed your father, Sylvia. But if it'll make any happen, we'll try him in the morning. Thank you. Harvey and his men got the kid. Where? Did you put him in jail? Get Tucson and round up the rest of the ranches. It'll mean an all-night ride. What are you going to do? I'm going to try and spring the kid tonight. The town's plumb full of Harvey men, and anything can happen. Be careful. Yeah, I know. Get going. I'll see you in the morning. I wish you hadn't have brought that kid back to town. Why didn't you no, just... No, wait a minute. You gotta make it look legal, don't you? You're right, Craig. We'll let the sheriff take care of him. You know, the boys are beginning to drift into town for election tomorrow. They're gonna see that the voting is done legal like. I'll keep it that way. I'll give the sheriff his instructions tonight. But I insist on seeing George Brooke. I want to talk with him. I'm still not convinced that he killed my father. But two of my men testified that they saw him fire the shot. Well, they could have been mistaken. I know it may sound foolish to you, but I want to talk to him anyway. And if he's not guilty, he may be able to give us a clue to the real murderer. All right, if you insist.
ridges, fellas. Get around there. Lay it out, Craig. Unlock that cell and let my brother out. Helping a prisoner break jail is a rather serious offense, Tommy. So is murder, Harvey. Now start moving, all of you. You didn't have to do this, Tommy. Your brother will get a fair trial. Sure, with a jury made up of Harvey's pet wolves. Well, this will only make things worse. I believe your brother's innocent, and I... Be proud of yourself. going to have to fight for a chance to vote the way you want to. Any of you want to back out? No! Well, we'll just Come on. Finish. Everything running smooth? Couldn't be better. The boys are voting early and often. Tell the sheriff to bring young Brooke up for trial found guilty and hanged before sundown. Understand? Why on earth is this town like an armed camp? We're running an election, Sylvia. But why are there guards posted all around the town? They're putting up barricades. Well, that's to keep the hoodlum out who has no right to vote. Now, don't you worry, Sylvia. Everything that I'm doing is for the good of the Ashton estate. But we understand there's an election going on. The polls are closed, Grandpa. Closed at this hour? Turn them around, boys. Harvey wants to get young Brooks' trial over pronto. Yeah. Well, that's all right. We'll get a jury together for him. A fine sheriff. Yeah. I only made matters worse by coming here, George. Should have kept my head and stayed out of town. We ain't through yet, Tony. Tucson Smith and his pal have organized the ranchers. They're headed for town. They are, eh? Well, they'll find out who's running Green Valley. Get to the barricades, and if they try to come through, pour it into them. Okay, we'll stop them. You better get in that back office. There's no reason for bloodshed. The ranchers are entitled to vote. I won't stand for these texts. Don't argue. Get in there.
I'm going to try and get into town and find Stoney. he's alive, that Ashton murder is a hot issue. You better take care of them. I'll get the horses. Say, listen, I lied for you when you shot old Ashton, but I ain't going to commit murder for you. Don't be foolish. Perfectly legal. Gray is still sheriff, and that'll mean that we can come back in a week or so, and everything will be on the way. Well, all right. It'll be a good idea if the same accident happened to Stony Brook.
dinner. Oh, I'll be fine. fine. Did you uh, cook it yourself? You sure did. Look at all these blisters. <laughs> well, that's too bad. What do you think? I've sold all my sheep and I'm stocking up with cows. Good, that's good. That's good. good. Right now, ain't a sheep this side of Red River, and I don't mind taking a bit of personal credit. <laughs> <laughs>